Hey guys, welcome back to Living in the Mom Lane. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Mandy. I hope you're having a wonderful day today. I wanted to share some air fryer recipes with you. This is my baby. This is my newest baby. I got this last year for Christmas. I love it. It is absolutely wonderful. It is a Kasori air fryer. I do have it linked in my Amazon store if you're interested in getting one. Love it. They have this color, they have white. I'm not sure of what other colors they have, but I highly, highly recommend getting this. So today I want to share with you five air fryer recipes. One is breakfast, or it could be dessert, whatever your preference is. One is lunch, and the other three are for dinner or it could be lunch or appetizers, whatever you wanna call it. So let's go ahead and dive into this video and see what these air fryer recipes are all about. Our first recipe is donuts made out of biscuits. So I am using butter tasting Southern home style biscuits. I've seen other people use flaky biscuits, but these work just fine. You're also going to need some melted butter just to brush on top of the donuts, some cinnamon sugar. If you don't have the cinnamon sugar already mixed together like this, you can just simply mix it cinnamon and sugar together in a bowl. I'm also going to make some powdered donuts so you need some confectioner sugar. I placed all the biscuits on a regular plate just to make it a little bit easier. So what you want to do is flatten your biscuit out just a little bit and then you're going to tear a good section of the middle out of it so that you get that donut effect. Don't throw out that part that you're tearing out because like you just saw, you can roll that up and make donut holes. Now I'm just gonna spray the inside of my air fryer with a little bit of Pam or butter cooking spray. And that's just so they don't stick. I don't think they would, but I wanted to be safe than sorry. And my air fryer will only hold about four donuts at a time. You want to cook these on 320 degrees for eight minutes. And this is what they look like coming out of the air fryer. Look how brown. So now you're gonna take that melted butter and just brush it on the top of your donuts. And then you're going to sprinkle the cinnamon sugar on top of the donuts. I'm not giving you exact measurements of the cinnamon sugar because to me it's more preference. If you like a lot of cinnamon sugar, then add a lot. If you don't, then don't add a lot. <laughs> so it's really just up to you on what you like. I know my kids, they like cinnamon, they like sugar, put them together and it is magical. And I know they like a lot on it. So I did put a lot on their donuts. Okay, now I'm making the second batch and I'm using the powdered sugar or confectioner's sugar. And I start out sprinkling it on top of the donuts and then I thought about it and thought maybe if I put it in a bowl and then dip the donut down into the bowl, but I didn't really like how it did doing it that way. So I dipped it and then I ended up still sprinkling um, the sugar on top of each donut. So do it however you like. I will say the kids liked the cinnamon sugar better than the powdered donuts. You can also use like a can of icing or make your own type of icing. I didn't have any on hand and I didn't want to have to buy that just for this video because we don't usually use icing, but that would be really good with some chocolate icing and maybe little sprinkles on top. That would be really good and pretty and the kids would probably enjoy that very much. So I just served it up with a little side of fruit. Look how pretty that turned out. The kids really liked them. Up next, we are doing Little Smokies wrapped in bacon. So what you're gonna need is a pack of bacon and I did cut mine down the center. You're gonna need some melted butter, the Little Smokies, and I'm using the Hillshire Farm. You're also going to need some chili powder. And then I am keeping mine keto. You do not have to do this if you're not keto or you're not thinking about low carb but I'm using the Swerve brown sugar. Like I said, if you're not keto, use regular brown sugar. 
you're going to put about a tablespoon of the chili powder into the brown sugar and mix that up. So we're going to take a little smoky, wrap it with a slice of bacon. And it's like I said earlier, that's half a slice of bacon. Once we get all of those wrapped up, we're going to take the melted butter and brush that on top of the bacon wrapped smokies. And then you're going to dip them into the brown sugar chili powder mixture. Now it's time to go into the air fryer and I did preheat my air fryer for about five minutes. I am going to be using the preset bacon setting and that is 320 degrees but I'm going to bump it up to about 11 minutes. And I'm sure every air fryer is different so if when it's done in 11 minutes and the bacon doesn't look to how you like it then definitely go ahead and put it back in for a few more minutes. Okay, the next recipe is actually something that I like to have for lunch. Um, I have my low carb tortilla and then I have Jason's regular tortilla there, pepperoni, ham, some shredded cheese, taco sauce, and some butter. I'm going to make Jason's little tortilla first. All I do is put some pepperoni slices, and this is to your preference, however much pepperoni you like. And then I'm gonna add some of the shredded cheese. Jason really likes his cheese, so I do tend to put a lot of cheese on his. And then you want to pour just a little bit of taco sauce. Don't do what I just did and pour a ton. So I'm just gonna smooth this out with my hand. Um, my hands are clean and you roll it up and you want to spread butter on both sides of it so it gets nice and toasty. I make mine the exact same way except I use a low carb tortilla and I decided on this day that I was going to add just a couple pieces of ham. I haven't done that before and it turned out really good. I really enjoyed it with the ham on there. I'm going to be using the bread setting on the air fryer, which is 320 degrees for eight minutes. Next up is chicken wings. So what you're gonna need is a pack of chicken wings and a bottle of Sweet Baby Ray's Buffalo Wing Sauce. I'm just showing the carb count here. It's one gram of carbs for one tablespoon of sauce. You also need some pepper and kosher salt. And I also make some using a low carb barbecue sauce. And like I've said earlier, if you're not keto, you're not worried about your carb count, then definitely use whatever kind of barbecue sauce that you like. So. This took me forever. This is the first time I have ever made chicken wings from scratch like this. So when I bought the chicken wings, I thought they would already be separated, but the package that I bought was not separated. So I had to do all of that first. I had to separate them and then cut the wing tips. So as you saw, I was pad drying them with a paper towel and then I sprinkled them with kosher salt. And now I'm going to put them in the air fryer at 380 degrees for 25 minutes. After they've gone for 25 minutes, I'm putting them back in for 400 degrees Fahrenheit for five minutes. After they've done the extra five minutes, then I'm just going to put them in a dish and go ahead and pour the wing sauce on top of them. And then I use my little silicone brush just to make sure that the sauce gets on all of the wings. And because I'm fixing two different batches, I'm going to put the wing sauce wings in the oven 
on a low temperature just to keep them warm. And this is the barbecue sauce that I use. It's sugar-free, G. Hughes, the hickory smoked flavor. It was pretty good. I actually liked those better than I did the wing sauce. And I also forgot to mention, you sprinkle pepper on there whenever you sprinkle the kosher salt. Up next is a copycat chicken tenders from Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A's secret is pickle juice. Before they fry up those chicken tenders, they brine the chicken in pickle juice. So I didn't have actual chicken tenders, so I'm just cutting up my chicken breast into smaller pieces, and then I add them to a Ziploc freezer bag, and then I pour the pickle juice on top of the chicken. The recipe said to let them brine overnight. However, I did this in the morning before I left for work, and then that evening when it was time to cook dinner, I took them out of the pickle juice. So now that the chicken has been brining for most of the day, I have an assembly line set up. This is almond flour with some kosher salt and black pepper. I have an egg wash, and then this is panko pork rinds. This is keto. You do not have to be keto to enjoy this. They actually turned out really good. The kids really enjoyed them. So you're gonna take your chicken tender, dip it into the almond flour, then dip it into the egg mixture, and then roll it in the panko pork rind crumbs. Here I am just preheating the air fryer on 400 degrees for five minutes. Once your air fryer has been preheated, you're gonna then set it on 380 degrees for 15 minutes. I will have all of these recipes either typed out or linked down in the description below. And I just served the chicken tenders up with some pasta for the girls, and we actually had a side of Chick-fil-A sauce. Okay, friends, that wraps up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you try any of these recipes and you are on Instagram, I would love to see pictures of what you try. You can follow me over on Instagram at living in the mom lane and tag me in your picture at living in the mom lane so that I can see what you've made. Also, let me know down in the comments if you're going to try something out and what you think about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said earlier, I do have this linked in my Amazon store, which that link is down in the description if you want to check it out. If you're not subscribed already, I would love for you to join my YouTube family. So click on that red subscribe button and go ahead and tap on the bell while you're there so that you don't miss any of my videos. It will give you a notification. And if you click on all, you will definitely not miss any videos. It will notify you of all my new videos that come out. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.